Hello traders, Jean here and in this video I uh, will cover USD CAT trade which is and which was the only trade so far this week and uh, this trading was a winning one uh, so we didn't have any uh, losing uh, trade in the last couple of trades which is uh, something unusual because uh, of course over a long term you will have around 50-60% uh, win ratio and uh, yes you will have winning trades you will have losing trades and the most important part is that you uh, manage the risk uh, that you focus on your trading process and that you keep the right trading mindset so in this video we'll cover as i said the only trade for this week use the cat and on the daily as we said in our weekly forex forecast video uh, we said we have bullish uh, structure and the market is pushing to the upside on the daily time frame so over a bullish structure and therefore we want to look for possible long opportunities in an uptrend in the bullish structure market is uh, forming uh, higher lows and it's taking all those uh, previous days uh, highs and uh, because bullish structure is there we said we want to look for uh, long trading opportunities on the uh, four hourly and one hourly chart so if you go to the four hourly uh, on the four hourly uh, time frame what do we see here is uh, here is this vertical line is start of the new trading week so prior to uh, to the weekend open uh, we had this bullish structure market was pushing to the upside but then on friday on uh, monday uh, we had this uh, move lower price showed a little bit of weakness here as it broke this uh, this swing low and we didn't have any confirmation we didn't have like lower high and continuation but what happened is interesting uh, on monday we had another uh, break to the upside so actually market uh, formed this lower high on monday moved lower and then we had nice reversal to the upside what happened we price reverse to the upside it broke this swing high and the new high was uh, form here as you can see price broke through these levels and on the breakout to the upside what do we notice also between first second and third candle we have nice fair value gap here which means that price is uh, moving uh, with nice uh, daily and four hourly bearish uh, bullish structure and we have a nice displacement in the price so uh, as the price form this uh, move within daily bu uh, bullish structure uh, we said we are looking for potential uh, retracement back into the discount area so that means that we have this swing high uh, i mean this swing low at that point we have this swing high here and we said as we have this fair value gap also we said we are looking for potential retracement to buy this uh, pair in the discount area so if we uh, connect the fibonacci from the uh, this recent swing uh high and uh, this swing low we can come up with some levels as you can see when price started to uh, retrace here uh, we said we are looking to buy in the discount which means we are looking uh, for a potential uh, oops potential uh, retracement uh, back into the discount uh, zone so swing low swing high and as you can see uh, anything below 50 percent uh, of this move from the swing low to the swing high is the discount so we said at this point of time we are looking for a retracement back into uh, those levels down there and this is our uh, entry uh, point there so as you can see uh, market retraced nicely to the downside it retraced more than 60-70% uh, here and this was our uh, first uh, entry here so at, at the close of the bullish spiky candle here we have entered it here this is our uh, first position and we set our stop loss goes below the structure lows and we target the friday uh, highs up here this uh, buy side liquidity uh, so in this case this was around one to one uh, in terms of risk and reward ratio so that's how you could trade it from the four hourly and this was our first position and what happened after is interesting because not that price just uh, moved up it moved up if you move to the lower time frames it moved up uh, nicely also on the one hourly so what happened here on the one hourly 
uh, as the price bounce from this four hourly discount zone to the upside. On the breakout to the upside, as price broke also previous swing highs here, we had another fair value gap on the one hourly and nice displacement. So if we remove these lines uh, here, we can see that on the breakout to the upside, we had also fair value uh, gap here. So we had this swing low, we have this swing high, and uh, this is the start of the uh, today's trading uh, day. So we have this swing low, we have this swing high, we have this fair value gap, and as the market broke to the upside and started to retracing, we said the same thing as we said before on the 4 hourly, we want to see a retracement back into the uh, 50 or 60 percent retracement into this discount area and this is exactly what happened we have swing low we have swing high and market re uh, moved nicely uh, to the uh, downside as you can see and uh, the start of london trading session what happened as the market spent few hours here in the discount area in this within this structure we bought this market again with another position and our target was the same, the four hourly uh, buy side structure uh, highs. So our entry was here and we uh, put the stop loss below the structure lows and our target was again the four hourly uh, highs from Friday and the recent highs, the buy side liquidity. So that's how we traded this nice uh, bullish structure on the daily four hourly and one hourly uh, charts, buying in the discount trading within the market structure so hope you learned something from this uh, video uh, make sure you ask below if you have any questions and we catch up soon take care